Welcome to Camper King. This video is about the fully integrated version of motorhome called the Royal King. Have fun watching our instruction movie. To begin with, remember that there are three keys on your chain. One of them to open and close the cabin of the vehicle and to drive the car. One of them to open up all the other doors and one of them is spare key. Right above the entrance of the motorhome you can find several control panels. On the left side you see the Truma Combi. This is for the heating system and for the water heating. If you turn the inner circle you will read numbers from 1 till 5, sometimes till 6. Put this one to 3 and you will have about 20 degrees in your motorhome once you have the heating system turned on. The outer circle, as you can see, there is a zero in the middle of the lever. That means it's turned off. If you put it up, you can heat the water to 40 degrees. If you put it one more up, you have 60 degrees of water. Now, just below the zero, you can see a little flame. If you put the outer circle to the flame, you have the heating system turned off. Now if you want to have heating and the water heated, you put it on the flame and 60. Next to it is a light switch and then the big control panel. The big control panel is turned off on the right bottom. Then just above it is to read the water situation. You can both read how much water you have in the freshwater tank and how full your grey water tank is. Now beyond that you can see a 12 volt button. You can push it once and there will be a symbol of a camper showing you how much voltage you have in the camper. If you press it again you can also check the voltage situation of the car itself. Just beyond that you can see a little meter with a Celsius sign. If you push that one you can see the temperature inside the vehicle and if equipped you can also see the outside temperature. Now let's go to the left side. On the top you can see a symbol that looks somehow like a water system. And that's correct, you turn on your water pump by pushing that lever. The aux auxiliary button is to turn on the 12 volt system inside the car. Just like the one you see on the right side in the picture, you see a 12 volt plug. That one will only work if you have the aux turned on. Now just below the aux knob you can see something like a car and a light. Correcto, you can turn on the external light. And below that you can see a light bulb. That one is to turn on the light inside the vehicle. Inside the vehicle you have several different knobs to turn on and off lights. However, if you switch it off here on the control panel, all lights will go off. If you want to use the toilet, it basically functions like a toilet at home. Underneath the toilet seat you can see a grey lever. This one is to open up to the black water tank. Make sure to open this lever up before using the toilet. Just behind the toilet you can see a little blue knob. This one would be to flush the toilet. Just make sure you have the water pump turned on on the control panel, otherwise this won't work. A very clever solution in this particular vehicle is in the right side of the picture you can see a little chrome thingy and you can put the toilet paper into the closet and have it come out of this thingy right there. If you want to open the cabinet inside of the toilet, make sure you find the little knob behind the mirror. You can see the knob on the right side in this video. And on the left side you can see that we already slide it open the mirror to access the cabinet. If you want to use the shower on the left side in the picture or if you want to use the sink right side of the picture just make sure that you have turned on the water pump 
on the control panel. The shower also has a wooden floor. This one can be taken out in order to use the shower correctly. Let's look at the beds for a moment. In this particular vehicle you have a twin bed in the back and you have a middle piece in order to make the bed even bigger. Bed linen and everything comes with the camping kit. In order to install the front bed make sure you find the switch on the seat to make the seat back go fully down. As you can see in the right picture on the corners of the seat you can pull a lever one of them is to turn the chair if you want to use it for example to eat at the table and on the other corner you will find another level where you can actually make the back go to the front. Now as you can see in this picture the seats have been put down correctly and the upper bed has been pulled down. In case you have children make sure to use the security net provided in all our vehicles. In order to move the table make sure you press the lever like I'm doing on the left side in this video. As soon as you have pushed that one away, the table can be moved to the front and back. We are looking at the refrigerator at the moment. On the far left side you can see the on-off switch. Depress it for approximately 3 seconds to turn on and the same to turn it off. The display is a touch screen. The touch zone on the left side you can lever between an A which means automatic he will choose 220 voltage once connected, 12 voltage while you're driving or he will use gas to cool your food. Keep it on automatic for your convenience however if you want to manually change it just push the touch screen. The next field approximately in the middle of the picture you can press in order to have the refrigerator ice cold like it is set to now or decrease the power by pushing the control button. On the far right side you can see another touch possibility if you have just put in fresh food press that button in order to cool the fridge more quickly. Underneath the sink you will find these four fellows. Now here you can turn off the gas to some equipment. Use the pictures on the lever in order to find out for what they actually are. While you're driving make sure you turn the gas bottle off and do not use the gas heating system while driving. You should enable the gas system again once you've come to a complete stop. If you want to cool your food while you're driving, make sure to use the 12 volt function on the refrigerator. Our Royal King comes with automatic windows, as you can see the lever above, and on the right side you can adjust the mirrors. Push or turn the button up for left and down for right. Just underneath you can see a lever to open the door. Once you push the lever inside, the door is also locked. Just next to the driver's door you will find the fuel cap. Our Royal Kings are diesel versions so put in diesel only. Make sure you don't confuse this with the water. Water levers or water buttons are blue. This one is black and it says fuel on it. In this picture you can see on the right side we have opened the compartment to fill the water. Notice that the button in there is blue. On the left side you remember from the last picture is where you put the diesel inside. Now both of these things are directly behind the door of the driver. This picture may look a bit awkward because it's facing the field the vehicle is standing in. But this lever right here is to loosen you of the grey water. Grey water is all the water you use for showering, for brushing your teeth or once you pour something down the sink. Not to confuse it with the black water which is generated by the toilet. 
Once you pull this lever out, the water will flush down underneath the vehicle. Make sure you make this only at spots where you're actually allowed to. On the right side of the vehicle, just in front of the entrance of the motorhome, you will find the gas compartment. Here you can install up to two bottles of gas. One bottle comes with the camping kit. Make sure you connect it correctly and once installed, open the gas bottle, press the green knob that you see on the right side in this picture. Once you push this one in for three seconds, the vehicle should have gas inside. The next thing would be to turn on the stove and get rid of the air that could be inside of the pipes. If air is in the pipes, the heating system could turn off and flash you a red light. That's why it's very smart to always use the stove first to get the gas system up and running. On the right side of the vehicle, right next to the rear wheel, you will find the compartment for the toilet cassette. On the left side you can see the lever where you can push in little knobs rather than levels. You can put the key in one of them and actually lock this compartment. However, we do not think that anyone will steal your toilet cassette. On the right side you can see the actual cassette. It's pretty easy to use. You can see the orange lever on the bottom. If you push that one down, you can pull out the whole cassette. Now the upper orange nozzle, you can take the cap off and pour the black water into a suitable spot. The vehicle has a lot of storage compartments. Like in this picture, you can see the garage in the back. Just make sure you lock these with the key while you're not near the vehicle. You can also completely darken the vehicle with the provided curtains. They're pretty easy to use. Just make sure that you are gentle to all the curtains inside the vehicles because motorhome curtains are always a very sensitive matter and we do want to rent out the vehicle many many times more. Thank you very much. Last but not least, we wish you farewell and have a nice trip in the wonderful vehicles of Camper King. Behind this fully integrated Royal King, you can also see our Freedom King, the smallest one in the fleet. We provide you with small vehicles and up to fully integrated vehicles. Check out our webpage www dot camperking dot ch for more details thanks again and have a nice one